Hi everybody, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and look what I've got. I've taken the plastic cellophane off um, because I couldn't wait to share it with you and to cut down on time because I'm only on a hotspot. I still not have any um, internet of my own. So that's why I'm not out there as much as I would like to be. But I've got the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann and it is a 78 card deck and a guidebook this is what the outside looks like and it is made by Hay House and the price is not on it um, oh, so, sorry it is, it's $24.99 but you can get it for 22.20 euros um, uh, from Amazon but that, ex that is exclusive the <coughs> postage so it's quite a uh, yeah um, a tall box I would say a broad box you can also see some of the pictures on the side and let's see what it is Br I got these from Brenda from Brenda Tarot Readings uh, on YouTube thank you very much Brenda it says 33.99 Canadian and 24.99 USA dollars and I don't know when they were published uh, I'll just have a look uh, by remaining re-imaging -im the traditional tarot archetypes and symbols in a contempo uh, contemporary boba ho and intuitive style the light says tarot expresses the light and shadow sides of our natures and explores the lesson lessons that can be learned from both the expressive characters who live within the landscapes of the cards tell stories ask questions and provide guidance this deck is an, an ideal a companion as you seek to uncover the places in your life and in yourself that are most in need of illumination and that's the bottom of the box it's a sturdy box and it is aquamarine as you can see and it's got a little like a, a snow flake or snow drop I don't know whether you can see it inside and in the lid it says uh, like a sun uh, sun and into grey we follow like a thousand flickering stars and there in a sunlight hollow we lose and find what is ours dear light and shadow seer May this deck help you to find what is yours. And then it's, I can't say, can't see what it says. And then it's a kiss and a hug. Kiss and hug. Oh, Charlotte, that must be Brenda's writing. <laughs> the rest is standard. Okay, you also get a little book with it. And there are, uh, what you call it, 184 pages. It is black and white, and it just goes to show how it's written. And you've got the light and shadow of the seer, and it goes into uh, the explanation um, uh, of the card itself. I dream my endless potential into existence with steady desire and efforts and you've got a saying for each card at the end come to think of it it's lovely and it's very clear like for the seven of swords 
I act from a place of love and morality, and the universe witnesses my honest intentions. And that means sneakiness, the Seven of Swords. Let's have a look at what um, the cards look like. I haven't seen them myself. The stock is quite sturdy. It's thicker than some stock that I have. Okay, let's have a look. I'm going to show you, I'm going to do it this way, then you can see. That is the full. The full. A very, very colory. Then we have the magician. And the infinity symbol is like he's doing that with the magic with his hands. Then we have the high priestess. Now I don't know whether you can see that, but this is also the picture on the front of the box. And she's got her eyes closed, but it looks like as if. Uh, her makeup are eyes like you can see it better on this perhaps so. and I think that's very cleverly depicted because when you have your eyes closed then you have to use your intuition and your feelings and so that's like uh, not real eyes painted on top of her eyelids and you can see that the third eye is lit up then we go to the Empress and yes also denounced or shown as the world the world is your oyster something new something the the tummy is like a swollen tummy like if she's pregnant she's mother earth that's just what she represents then we have the Emperor Oh, he's a very a young, dashing young man. And what I also like about these cards, it's different cultures, different nationalities, different skin tones. He could be South American or uh, African American. Then we have the Hierophant, and he, uh, he's laughing here. And he's obviously the spiritual guy and he's sitting in the lotus position it's, and uh, that is really nice pink because of the hearts chakra love I think they're really in uh, thought through then and they are also numbered you've got the number and then the name of the card she's got a tattoo very modernized and also the goddess symbol tattoo on her shoulder blade and all again different nationalities and what I also like is uh, that could be the shadow side of ourselves and that could be the light side the feminine and the masculine and because it's tarot we've got the tram a very old-fashioned tram that's pulled by horses or a gypsy um, uh, carriage then we have number eight and that is strength and this the half of her is lion and the symbol of the lamb that patience and love can tame the lion within us then we have the hermit I love the colors on this deck then we have the wheel of fortune and he's standing right on top of the the world if you are not a beginner then you might take this as the world but 
luckily it says the wheel and it's numbered like you're on top of the world you're in balance let's see I w want to see what the world looks like and they do show in a lot of them the uh, light side and the shadow side of ours, us ourselves justice and then we have the hanged man and this is a person hanging in a yoga sling beautiful how modern they are thank you Brenda the death and the rebirth card so that is the death card number 13 and then we have temperance and it's nice how they've added the wings of the angels this looks like an angel is be behind him the head and the wings sending him peace bringing him balance then we have the devil number 15 Ooh, it does look tem temptations tempting he's giving a hand saying give me your hand well don't be tempted then we have the tower and all the animals I'm looking at it upside down but it looks like an old tree stump covered with moss and the animals live in it and the thunder the trees being struck by fire and we have the star number 17 I've wanted this, these cards for a while but I'm glad I've got them now what is meant to be it will come to you we've got the moon number 18 and the way she's floating there is beautiful then the sun open your arms spread your wings let the sun come into your heart and solar plex then we have number 20 judgment rising the spirit rising from her then we have the world well she is within the circle instead of on top of the world and you've got geometrical esoterical signs then we have the ace of wands beautiful the two of wands the three of wands the four of wands the five of wands Six of Wands The Seven of Wands Ooh, she's protecting herself with the white light in in her own bubble or crystal ball. That's what I do. And the eight of ones. Oh, it's upside down. Sorry. All these colors, chakra colors. And we've got the nine of ones. Again, somebody from a different nationality than European. It's really done well. And also modern clothing. The Ten of Wands. <coughs> Sorry. Then we have the Page of Wands. 
She's wearing sneakers here and jeans. Being her playful self. Then we have the knight. Looks a bit Native American. And then we've got the Queen of Wands. And they feel magic. The King of Wands. The King of Wands is Aries, not Leo. But it could be Leo. Like I always say, don't exclude Leo. Then we go to the um, Cups. The Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups. Three of Cups, the Four of Cups. You can really see she's bored or thinking really deep. The Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, childhood memories. Th thinking about it, thinking back. The Seven of Cups. The Eight of Cups. The Nine of Cups. The Ten of Cups. The Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups. All these the modern things like tattoos on the arms and sneakers and jeans. And the little la letter. Sorry, I can't get out of my words again today. The Queen of Cups. The King of Cups. And then we have the Ace of Swords. I think that's a good one. Too much in your head. Going round and round and round. The Two of Swords. Love that one. The Three of Swords. The Four of Swords. The Five of Swords. They've used birds for the swords. The six of swords. The seven of swords. Ooh, he's cheeky. I like it. Eight of Swords. I reckon you could also say they're a bit paganish or Wiccan because of the crows and the tattoos. Nine of Swords. And it's like if you've got in the background, you can see um, a city with uh, like in New York I can't see it upside down but you can see it oh no it's not a city it's a, a bed like a full posted bed very very slightly Ten of Swords the Page of Swords The Knight of Swords. The Queen of Swords. 
I like her sandals. Roman sandals. And the King of Swords. The owl. A bat. And the crow again. The Ace of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. That's the the settings or the moons. That's really nice. Nine of Pentacles. It's like Christmas. Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. And that is the Wiccan circle as well. Uh, yeah. Knight of Pentacles. Love it. And the Queen of Pentacles. I love her eyeshadow. Okay. And the King of Pentacles and his wolf dog, Alsatian. Oh, I like these cards. Thank you very much, Brenda, from Brenda Terror Readings. And uh, I will, I will love these really. They're one of my favourite decks. I can feel that already because I wanted them, and that's the backing of them. Okay, now we're going into. Uh, let's see how they shake. Very easy, and they are a sort of a matte finish. You can feel that when you're shaking them. I didn't. I wasn't even thinking about that. They're very, very easy to shake. Okay, so welcome in the house. I have to do my uh, joystick thing. Clear them. I haven't got a sage stick. I should get one. I finished my sage. Right, we've got the strength card. So that's the card for today. Strength. Know that you're stronger. And you've got the infinity symbol on her arm. I love it. Really, really pretty. I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed this review. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And they're really colourful. I love them. Well, I really think they're amazing.
So that is the review on the light Sears Tarot. Thank you very much, Brenda, and uh, I'll be doing the weeklies for next week with him. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.